So get this, I'm done with college. Not as in like, I'm so done with college, but like, I'm finished. Like I am done, my college life is done off my hands. No more school, no more classes, no more homework assignments, no more projects, no more group projects. And that's something I'm absolutely stoked about. So since it took me five years to get through college, not because I failed classes, I never failed a single class in college, but because the Olympics was a thing and I kinda had to do a lot less school so I could do well at the Olympics. I thought it would be good to give you five things that I learned while I was in college over my five years. So the first thing that I learned really quickly when I got to college was just don't skip classes. And before you think that I'm just like a goody two shoes and you're just, you're just sucking up to the teacher trying to get a better grade. You're absolutely right. I think I only voluntarily skipped like six or seven classes in my five years of college. While I did miss a lot of class for competitions and lots of traveling, I didn't just skip class because I didn't want to go to class. Think about it this way. You're paying for school. It's incredibly expensive. You're literally paying to go to these classes to learn. By paying this money and not going to those classes, A, you're throwing money away. B, you're not gonna get a good grade because you're missing out on free participation points. Participation was one of the main reasons I got through some of the classes I got through. Honestly, I, I, I got a film degree. So, film is not necessarily like engineering. A lot of our classes are participation based. So some of my courses, 30% of the grade was just showing up. And I'm not gonna lie, there were classes where I got a 70% flat to pass the class and it's because I got my full participation points. So don't skip class. I can't stress that enough. If you're doing horrible in a class, but you're showing up to everything, you're still gonna pass most likely. Number two plays into number one, go to office hours. Office hours are so vital because oftentimes the teachers will see you putting in that extra work and they will grade you a little more leniently. I don't know, there were a lot of classes that I would go to the office hours because I for sure thought I was gonna fail the class and I just wanted to do whatever I could to pass. And so I would go and I would take my papers that were garbage and the teachers would help walk me through my papers, help me rework them. And so by doing this, I was able to find out what the teachers were looking for in my assignments and I was able to cater my answers to that. And ultimately, that mixed with my participation would help me get a grade needed to pass. Before I go any further, I don't want you guys to think I'm stupid. Like, there were probably like five or six classes that I got a C minus in. But the rest of the time I was getting A's and B's. But you know, when it comes to things like math and things like history and uh, more math, I need all the help I can get. The third thing I learned was to get sleep consistently. Freshman year, I got between four and five hours of sleep a night. A, because I'm excited to be at college. B, because I had class at 7.30 in the morning. C, I was living in a dorm and me and my roommate Hudson would stay up all night playing video games. What am I on now? D, you know, it's college. You stay up late, you stay in the dorms, you just, you just awake. That's all I can ex describe it as. You're just awake. So if you can, make sure you get eight to 10 hours of sleep a night. After I got married, I started to get eight to 10 hours of sleep a night, and my GPA went from a 2.7 to a 3.7. So I think sleep was a direct correlation because I'd rather show up to an exam underprepared but rested than show up to an exam exhausted from cramming all night and then not have my attention focused on the work I'm doing. Maybe that's just me. I've never been good at exams anyway, so I'm willing to take the point hit, but that's besides the point. Sleep is good for your academics. It's good for your athletics. It's good for your skin. It's good for your overall mental health. Get sleep. Freshman steal, go to sleep. Number four was something I didn't care about at first, but then I cared too much about, and now I'm back to like, it's whatever. It's my GPA. Freshman year, I was like, man, I'm not good at school, but I want to be good at school. I'm going to get a good GPA in college. Freshman year, had a good GPA. Then sophomore year happened, and it was the Olympics, and <laughs> honestly, I just did not care about school. My GPA suffered, but then I got so hyper-focused on getting my GPA back up, which my GPA did come up a bunch. It went from like a 2.7 to a 3.7, and then a 3.85, and then 
probably gonna get a 3.5 this semester. But the past two years, my GPA would stress me out because I was just trying to get this higher number, but I'm getting a film degree, and from everyone I've met in the film industry, they don't ask for your GPA. So yeah, I mean, if you're gonna be a doctor, worry about your GPA, but if you're gonna be a filmmaker, GPA is important, but make sure the projects you're working on for school are just top notch so you can put that on your reel. And tip number five, this isn't a tips video, these are just things I learned. I learned to enjoy college. I spent five years in college. Last year, all the people that were in my original graduating class all graduated and moved away. And this past year, all my friends pretty much moved all over the place and this year went by fast, but then I got to thinking, Man, it feels like yesterday when five years ago, Hudson and I were running around campus causing shenanigans at one in the morning. And Hudson is magically nine foot seven. I got my fingers in this guy's eye. College goes by fast, so enjoy the moments while they're happening, but also don't forget to go to sleep because that's important too. I'm done with school. I no longer have to go to classes. Now I'm sure in the future, I'm gonna go to like filmmaking master classes so I can keep learning how to be a better documentarian in the future, but that's besides the point of college courses. I took a lot of awesome classes here, and I also took a lot of classes that I wish I did not take. But you live and you learn, that's college. Done. So what's next for me in my life? I'm a professional athlete now, so gonna ride that out as long as I can, and then do filmmaking. So if you wanna support me on this journey, be sure to hit subscribe, like this video, become a member. For the people that have been asking, there's no join button in the, under the video. Now, in the linked description, there is a link to becoming a member. So, click that link, follow it through. Thank you for your support. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.